Welcome back everybody, Kathy Arbor here. And today is Acrylic Thursday. Mixed media, I do acrylic painting. Uh, let's see, watercolor, pastels, collage, all kinds of stuff. So today we're going to be doing a bird, flying bird. Not sure what kind it is. It might be a seagull of some sort. Um, and the printable is available for all my YouTube membership levels and also Patreon level. So if you want to check those out, there's information down below. And if you're watching the replay, I will put a link in the top corner of your screen when I'm finished. <clears throat> so I've just put a layer of black gesso on top of this uh, file folder. And this was the file folder that we um, created, I believe it was on the New Year's Eve stream a thon that I did this. And it's going to be a um, Constantina uh, folded book that I can put all of my um, year's file folders in. And then we'll do a, a uh, cover when it's done. Hey Devin, good to see you. Is it your day off today? <laughs> it's a cold day here. We didn't get a whole yeah, Constantina. It's a, it's a um, uh, accordion folded book. There's many ways. There's many different types um, of doing them. There's actual sewing in them. There's um, different widths you can do. Uh, you can add pages by sewing them in or by gluing them in. All, all kinds of ways of doing them. I really love them because they're very um, different looking. And you can use the front or back or just one side depending on how you do your cover. Hey Dot, good to see you. Oh good, day off. Good to see Mom, that's good. Yeah, you're getting really mild temperatures now. You were really cold for a while there, but it's very strange weather all over the world. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. So last week, just do a little bit of a review, and if you're not interested, you can just skip ahead if you're watching this on the replay. Uh, last week, on Thursday, we did these cute little raccoons all snuggled up for the winter and this was done on scrapbook paper and acrylic and last uh, Tuesday we did this here and this is done with purples and I um, can't remember if it was Payne's Gray or what's the other indigo might have been indigo and this is uh, wet into wet watercolor, and there's a video last Tuesday for that one. And this coming weekend, um, this will be coming up for the YouTube member um, level two and higher, and also for the Patreon, the same. So budding artists and blooming artists and there will be a video with this and your um, traceable will also go with this. So look out for this. It's probably going to be uh, Saturday. I'm not sure what time but I'll try to get it up on Saturday. I'm still editing. So hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, we're going to do this bird here. I don't know why, but I'm into the blues lately. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Um, so this is a photograph from Unsplash. 
And I thought it would be a good idea to start off with a black gessoed background. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Janet. Good to see you. And there's a traceable for this uh, to all the members, and that's all levels. Well, you can get this one. <laughs> you can't wait for the fairy? Yeah, it was a funny one. It was a good one. <laughs> So I thought today to just try a little something different. Um, I'm going to be using artist grade uh, paint. It does go on a little differently than your uh, craft paint because your craft paint is more opaque. Um, needs some distraction today. Some dreadful person tried to steal from my credit card. Oh, wow. That's the... You had that happen a little while ago, Dot. Jeesh. Darn. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around because there's a lot of desperate people out there right now that have no uh, scruples. So, this picture... There's quite a few different shades of, um, you could go into your indigo blues, purples. So I've got out here some uh, Payne's Gray. We could use Payne's Gray, that would work. Um, and, uh, and, and Thuraquan Blue. <laughs> I don't know how to say that one. Um, is also a good one, and if you have a dis di um, dioxazine purple, titanium white, and some Mars black. So I thought we could try, I think I might get a little bit of purple out. These wisps are more purpley looking to me. Um, we can lighten the blue up with the white and it has purpley blue in here too and on the it's not a white white bird looking even though it is white you're getting the reflections from the sky and the water if it's over top of water it's reflecting from the sky so let me get some purple out too Seen purple, and we'll be using a little bit also of some acrylic glazing fluid, and to soften some of the brush marks, we'll use one of these very soft uh, round brushes. So I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. Oh boy, these are tight. That's if I can get them off. <laughs> My arthritis isn't good today. <clears throat> I have another one. No. Try this one. Yes, that one opens a little easier. Okay. So some dioxazine purple. Um, now, do I want to go with... We'll put out Payne's Gray. This one's uh, Golden's Payne's Gray. If I can get it out. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We'll test it. I'm going to put it out on this one. So I have a couple palettes here. We'll test which blue would be the best. One's a little darker, but I'm thinking of mixing some white with it. 
So we got some titanium white here. So that's all the color I need and some black, maybe a little bit of black, but I'll just throw some over here. I can get it out. A little squirt. See you. We're gonna use some uh, artist grade paint for a change. So this is almost dry. I'm gonna give a little shot of heat, just dry it up a little bit. So how's everybody doing? What are you working on? Hey Lisa, good to see you. <laughs> yep, artist grade. I thought I'd better use a little bit more. I've been doing the two large canvases for my sister, but You don't use your stuff, it goes bad with the acrylics. Yeah, let's see. So, I think I'm going to do the sky first. And then I'm going to put the bird on. Um, or should I put the bird on first? Let me think. No, I think I'll put the sky on first. It's just easier. It's less um, fiddling when you um, do the background and then put your subject matter on top. Especially when you're doing sky like this because you want soft blends and you don't want to have to stop where the bird is type of thing. So if you... Um, so... Let's try that. So we, let's see. We could start off with the lighter section here. It's almost a baby blue color. So we'll have to mix quite a bit of white and get kind of that blue shade first. So um, I think I'm going to get a little bit more of this. Uh, let's try this white here. I'm going to put, I have two palettes out. I'm going to put some more white in here. This is titanium white. And let's mix. Uh, let's see. I want to take some of this white. Let's see, it wasn't starting to separate. That's when you know you got to use up your paint. So I'm just going to take half of that. And this is the, what's it called? Anthroquone Blue. And just got a little dab. Because I know it's very, very pigmented. And we 
can always add a little more, but we can't take away. Then you end up with a huge amount of blue. <laughs> That's not too bad. Maybe a, just a dab more, just a smidge like that. Doesn't take much. soft blue okay now most of the area let's put this over here for now um, let's see if I can put this so you can see what I'm doing okay and I'll just hold the palette and show you as I go um, so we have quite a bit of blue corner in here. So I want to take a fairly big brush. Let's see. I'm just going to take one of these brushes. Paper towel. I don't want it too wet. And we're just going to put her on. So as you can see, there's quite a bit. I want to get in this corner fairly um, thick. I don't want to have to see those black lines right now. Your last watercolor stream was so beautiful, Cass, all the recording today. Oh, thanks, Lena. Yeah, it was, it's a fun one. I think you were doing something very similar, kind of watery look to it. Um, Oh yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of this liquid glazing on here too, just I'm going to put it off to the side. That's a lot of clogged in. Hey Colleen. No, it's clogged. Clogged, kept it open too long. A little dab. Yes, I'm using acrylic and acrylic and chroma artist grade uh, acrylics just for a change because um, I usually use the uh, crafters acrylics so I thought I'd try the other uh, so when you're using acrylic grade you do have to if you were going to over top of it you do have to make sure it's dry because when it just starts to dry and it's a little tacky if you go on that with a new layer it will lift your bottom layer and it's very difficult to repair it it can be done but it's a lot of tedious work <laughs> so just dry it to make sure quite a bit. 
a thick dab there. Now you can make your acrylics a little bit watery with just water, but don't put too much water. Then it, depending on what you're using, it can crack off. Okay, let's uh, throw a little bit more of this color on. We want it fairly opaque. I don't want to see the black gesso behind it. So get as much of that off as you can. <laughs> Thanks, Lena. Yeah, I like monochromatic. I think it's so pretty. All right. So now, uh, let's mix a little. That was a good color to use for this. So I'm going to mix a little bit more of that. With some of that. There are some uh, darker areas because it's the sky, so you're going to see a few areas that are okay. Before that gets um, where do you put it? Dry. I want to take a brush and just swirl. areas. And then just take your paper towel and clean off any that's on the brush. Don't wet the brush. Okay, and then we're going to get a little bit more of this white and blue. And this will give it kind of a dreamy look. Sometimes you need a couple of these brushes because once they start getting piled up with paint, you have to clean them and then it takes a while for them to draw. Oop, I didn't want that color. Oh well. Where did I put that other one? It's the only thing I don't like about these is all the packaging is the same. So it's easy to mistake the <laughs> color. Okay, a little bit more lighter. Just shopping her on. My brush. I'm just lightly going over top. I'm not pressing down. I'm just kind of just ever so lightly going over top of that. And then just clean it off. 
It just gives it a little bit more of a softer look. I probably should. Then I'm going to take a sponge. Where did I put them? Sponges, sponges, sponges. Oh, there they are. Cleaned up part of my desk. <laughs> Okay, now there's too much on there, so I'm going to have to clean that brush a little. stiff brush. Let's see. So bristle brush. And I'm just going to take some of that white on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to start putting in, um, shouldn't, I better dry it first. A little bit. Lena. <laughs> so when you're doing this next step, you have to make sure your paper or canvas is really really good and dry because this is when you can remove paint <laughs> you wouldn't be happy
my brush so I had that paint on there and when you're doing clouds look for the brightest sections first and start there so what I like to do is I'll start and then I'll start swirling And don't pick up any more paint until you've run out. And that swirling when it starts to get um, less paint is what gives you that airy look. And I'm just dabbing a smidgen on my brush. I might put in some more different clouds than what I have here. I'm not really going like exact to the picture. You can get smaller brushes if you want smaller details too, but use a stiffer brush. Let's see. Mm -hmm. A little bit here. Oop, I got some. Yellow or um, blue on there. That's not good. You want a fairly dry brush when you're doing this. I'm going to get a smaller brush. Something smaller. Put a few. Very little on my brush. Might go in with some black too to uh, fix up some of these spots. Didn't look right to me. I'm going to throw in, see what I can do with a little bit of black. Just in some of the, 
the areas that I might not want. Much of the water out as you can. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of um, this blue here. Let's see, maybe just straight blue. Experimenting. I'm going to take the straight blue because it's a black background. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. Some of that would be a little bluer. I'm just dipping my the end of my brush in there. black I'm just darkening up some of these areas. So it looks like the clouds are peeping through.
right, so let's dry that and then we'll put our, our bird on. <laughs> You're seeing stuff in there. Yeah, you could. You see a face here and here. Here's the eye. The mouth is open. Here's the mouth here. His nose. An eye and an eye. I see more faces because I like that's what I like to do. <laughs> Guess do you see the bird in the screen on the right? Bird in the screen on the right. This here? How big? There's all kinds of things. You'll, if you turn them around, you'll see all kinds of stuff. All right, so we have the traceable. And I'm going to put them right there. And I'm going to do it in white first. So the black shows up. There should be good. And I'm going to use a pen. Let's see. Probably the tip is about the only thing that we'll need to. That's too fine, I think. I need a smaller one. Let's see if it works first. Nothing more aggravating than tracing everything and it doesn't show. Well, that's good. It's a little bold, but it'll work.
body in. This doing birds always brings me back to the memories of uh, bird studies Canada that I did where I had to do a bunch of sketches for them to okay. And being birders the slightest little thing that's off, like maybe the tail is a smidgen longer or the wing is a little fatter, or they'll find it. And I don't know how many, because <laughs> they just gave me a few pictures, so. And I had to enlarge it and, um, that was a real experience, let me tell you. And finally they okayed it. And um, then they sent down, they said, oh, we're going to be sending down somebody to um, check your glass. It was a stained glass window that I was, I did five of them for them. And little did I know, the person they were sending down, oh, where did I put that thing? It was Robert Bateman's brother. <laughs> now talk about nervous, holy geez. And he's a fantastic artist. You don't hear much about him, but I think he's just as good, if not better, than Robert Bateman. So that was interesting work with him. <laughs> okay, I think I, I want to put a dark... Do I see it? Mm, I might be able to see it. Okay, I'm going to take it off. But it was a, a very um, eye-opening... <laughs> when it comes to um, commission work. Like, I've done a lot, hundreds, hundreds of windows, but they were the pickiest. <laughs> Let's see. So that comes down like this. I'm just going over top the white area so I can... Chili. Yeah, I did this one drawing and they said the tail feather is a quarter of an inch longer. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I'm going to use some very small brushes, especially in the wing area here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a black area. And I already have black, but a lot of this stuff will, will uh, wash off. Um, I better try that first, just to make sure it does. 
see that in the failure. That wash off. Yeah, there. So it's not confusing. I sent you a direct message. Okay, what'd you send me? On Twitter. My fingers got paint on it. It's not recognizing the f my fingerprint. Oh gosh, I don't remember my sign in. Hmm. I'll have to look. Gosh. Send it on Instagram. <laughs> I, I don't want my um, Twitter sign in. <laughs> oh, too many too many darn passwords. It drives me nuts. Oh, that one maybe. And oh, this one will be a little bigger. Okay. So I think this was black. Yep. So I'm just taking some black on this. This is an angled brush. And I guess I should put that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to basically go over this black area with the black paint again. So I'm just going to take it there, then I'm going to take that light blue color, I'm like, oh, it should be okay. Because it's not white, it's more of a, um, I wonder if I have a small filbert somewhere. If you have a filbert, they're excellent for the ends of the feather shape. If not, you could use a round, but one with not a flat um, or not a pointed end. I should have a filbert. In. Oh, hit it. There you go. This is a filbert. So it's got that rounded end on it. So I'm just taking some of that blue. <sighs> oh, where those sparkles came from. And we're going to start off just by sweeping on the end here. I'm not going to worry about being exact. I 
Okay, it does have a little bluish tinge to the wing. I'm going to do the same over here. So I'm just flicking where the end is. And then it's kind of a purpley, um, gray blue color. So I'm going to take some of this. To, I think this one was. Let me see. No, I need it a little bit on the. Well, if I put a little yellow or um. Yeah, that'll work. If I put a little bit of white in that diox or not dioxazine, it was uh, Payne's Gray, it turns it a little bit purpley. See right there? <clears throat> kind of a grayish purple. So, kind of halfway up those areas that you've already painted with the with the uh, blue, you can go with this color. Let's see if, yeah, that'll work. Oh, it might be a little bit lighter. Let's see. I'm going to take some of this and use this one. Yeah. And I want it. A little bit more watery so I can have a end of it a little bit more um, long looking now you could probably do this with a round also just to have enough water and enough paint on your brush to do it And then the same color, is in the body and in the top part of the wing. So right in here. Just kind of um, too much water on my brush. A bit of black.
just more or less sweeping it down. Just watching how far the black goes down the wing. This one, these are quite dark. I can always put white on top, so I'm not worried about that. You can't really see the division either because it's so dark. It's almost like a silhouette. This one, a little bit of white and that blue. And some black to blend that in. This area is black, fairly dark. Kathy, do you get to see watercolor? Challenge on your channel. Okay, brilliant. Mm, I'd have to. I I would have to uh, Google it probably. I've never seen it. Okay, now I want a little bit of a stiffer brush because I want to get into some fine um, marks. It's a little bit gray again. This is an angled brush.
So it's kind of got um, diamond shapes, these. So you kind of have to look at it as a shape when you're doing this part or you'll get mixed up. And a little bit of that in the other side. Too much water. Now I'm gonna. I should. Oh, I should dry it first for a little bit of a dry. Hey, Sandra. into the black again. Do some more black on here. And it just goes down one of the sides. So it's very dark on the top of these um, triangles or whatever you want to call it. Parts of the feather. The shape. So I'm just using black in the darkest areas. And then I want a fairly nice chiseled edge and just go along take that line and bring it down just the back of the black lines basically make that one a little smaller I want them fairly even. Uh, 
that. And I could probably go in with, um, if you want to do this more mixed media style, you could. Um, just use colored pencil. darker under here. It's fairly dark actually. And it kind of swoops down those. There's a sh uh, shape of how they're lining up. So that's fairly small down here. And then it goes up gradually into here. This is fairly dark. Just put some more black in there. Right in here. And then just in there. And then it just, this is where the black goes into the individual feathers, the lines. Really dark in there and in here. Very dark. Then I'm going to put the lights in over top. So don't worry about looking at all those um, whites marks. You can put those in later. bit more of that blue in there. More of that in the other one. A little bit more blue. Just on a bit, a little brighter, um, more white in it. Just make sure it's. You gotta have a crisp edge. probably go in with Posca too. And that one's good. This one had a little more though. A little bit more of a now I'm gonna take a little bit of that black again. that 
blue just in this area where the wing is it's just a very slight change in color gradually goes into the black so you kind of have to mix it with your black as you're going and same with this one it's a little bit of that glaze a little bit more on here let's see Follow the edge of the wing. And then the black. Get enough water on your brush though. more of a gradation into the dark part. Okay, so let's put the body in. I'm going to put it in white first, I think. Let's get a bigger brush. And then we can go over top of it. Just base coat it. A little bit of those uh, legs and feet are black. So just basically basting this in or like a base coat. We'll go over top with highlights and shadows. This is why I picked this one because I felt that it would be a fairly easier one to do.
it's the, it was pure black. Sorry, I'm not paying attention <laughs> to chat much. Okay, I'm going to take my um, wet wipe here and just remove that chalk line that I had. What is that? I have this sparkle in there. I don't know how I got that in there. a purple hue or bluish hmm. Let's see where did I put that purple I think I'll use a smaller brush a little bit of blue I think so some dioxazine purple, a little bit of blue, mm, some white. A little bit more blue. more on the blue side than the purple side and some that some glazing medium and it's fairly dark underneath the chin line the feet. And right around there. A little bit of a shadow there. And I just have a damp brush. And just go along the edge and just soften the edge up a little bit. It's kind of an aqua blue on the top part. So I want a fair a little bit of glazing on there too. Very, very light. And then where's oh that's too dark. top part has kind of a, a blue tinge. It's not white. It's more on the blue side. There's sparkles again. bit darker under here. There's 
under his chin. I'm going to mix a little bit of black with that. It's fairly dark in here. Let's see. Oh, it's from this thing. <laughs> That's where the sparkles are coming from. The paintbrush is shedding. <laughs> but where the heck was that coming from? Michelle. All right, so now a little bit of um, some white. And just up here by the eye and up by the uh, wing. It'll be the brightest. So we have to pay attention. Right there is the brightest. It just goes up the wing a little bit, like that, just a smidge. Down the head, just on the very edge where the, uh, hmm, I need a smaller brush for this. Smaller yet. <laughs> see. Just a long. Might have to work. This isn't the best brush. Um, let's see.
trying to get the right consistency in this. I think I might use paint marker instead. Very, very small. Let's see. So I'll have to dry it first before I use that. So I'm going to take, actually I could use the black too. Put the eye in. And the mouth goes. Dry that so I can rub off that. Hopefully, there we go. Shake it. So, this is a really bright white, so I should be able to put that in now. I'm just going to smudge it a bit with my finger. Okay. 
So it's really, really, really bright in here. I think I have the eye too low. I think it's a little low. But, not much I can do about it now. I guess I could repaint it. And then there's brightness right here on the edge of the tail, bright white. And kind of a little bit of line work in here. It goes down into the tail. That's still blue there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there in these here just to brighten them up a little bit. Just on the very, very bottom. Of these. And then these guys have quite a bit of, uh, their tips are a little bit more on the, the lighter side. And they're a little fuller. So I can put some of those in on these. You won't see some of these because they're mixing in with the cloud color. That's okay. And... There's a couple marks also in here. gonna I might and there's here little tips in here And all there goes up like that. There's a little mark there. I'm just going to smudge it, and then there's that lighter line down here and I'm just going to smudge it a little bit. Like that. I think there's a little line there. And this here. 
marker. Like that. Now I have to do the feet. Well, just um, probably a Posca will do. There's one. Kathy, you make it look so easy, but I know if I try it, it would be a hot. I know. It's all learning experience. I don't expect you to do exactly the, the way I do it, but try it. You just have to try, because the more you do, the better you get at it. I know you get tired of people saying that, but it's true. If you really love it doing um, this type of work, then just work on it until you get it the way you want it. Don't expect it to be perfect. When, you fir when you're first starting out, because it won't. This takes time. Beak. Bit more. Can't see the division of the beak too much, so. Not gonna be too worried about that. Mm. I might be able to see a few more lines in here though, so let's put some of those in. wonder if that will work. There's a little bit of yellow around his eye. <laughs> Should I attempt it? Uh, let's see. I could just put a dot and then put the black back in. bit more shading around where his legs are coming out. In here. Oh, too much water.
little bit more in here, I think. This is when I kind of fuss with it. If I see anything I think needs darkening. That's it. I think that'll work. Now, do I like the sky? Let me think. Let me look. Do, is there anything I want to fix? I think I need to bring a little bit of... Where did I put that? There it is. A little bit of this purple that I used into the sky. Just a bit. Because it's nowhere else. a bit. A dab of white down in here a little bit, just a smidge. Stop fussing, stop fussing. <laughs> All right, I think it's done. I'll sign it. Well, thanks, Joan. Thanks, guys. So it's the 20th today. There's the free flying bird. So I hope you'll give it a try. And if you do, I'd love to see it. Um, just tag me, uh, Paint with Kathy Arbor, on Instagram or Facebook, Twitter, so I can have a peek at it. I'd love that. And. Um, don't forget the members 
video is coming up on Saturday for blooming and budding artists, and you'll have a traceable to go along with that. So I'll let you guys go, and you have a fantastic creative day and a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday for watercolor. Have a great one, everyone. Bye for now.